recording of what I'm doing in case I ever wanted to reference it again. So I have an upcoming end table that I'm trying to make. It has a nice mid-century modern feel. I had my friend Elizabeth turn me three um, oak legs, white oak legs. And so I've done a lot of practicing the joinery. I've got a whole stack of them down there, but they're not, they weren't working out. Well, I fortunately stuck with it enough to figure it out. So here's sort of an iteration with a practice piece. And so, um, unfortunately, I took off enough length practicing on the tenons that I didn't like it. So now I'm going to do loose tenons so that I don't have to shorten the table more than I would like. So what I've got going on over here at my painter router is this little bit of a jig setup. So I've got display basically five degrees off of 90, so 85. I've got a stop block so that they all end up the same length because luckily Elizabeth give me the same taper on all of them. And right now I'm just going through and buzzing them. So I've got a stop set and I've got blue tape on it, which means don't move that stop. And then next I will set up to do all of the mortises as well as the mortises on the table. And then that way I can fit a dowel and cut that with the tapering. So we've got the tapering that comes with all of the painter router templates. A little bit more info here is, is that I decided to go with half inch blocks to kind of keep a general sense of trying to keep things level. It might not be perfect, but it's going to be consistent. And then I have a stop block. And then because I'm going to have to bring them back in afterwards to do the holes, I wanted them to all have the same orientation with the angle here. So I gave myself three arrows, so two on this side and one on that side to reorient um, the piece in the stop block. Just showing off what I'm doing. So I just use my quick clamps to get it roughed in. I use, um, I have a little crosshair in here and I use the pointer. I'm just doing a direct 90. And so then I added two more aggressive clamps. Make sure I don't lose this when I start. So now I'm going to put in a quarter inch and then I'm going to slowly move up to three eighths and three quarters to just get a nice clean cut. And I'm doing it to three quarters of an inch depth when this is seven eighths and a hair prep. I'm doing my first dry assembly with clamps. Uh, I still have finished sanding to go, but I just wanted to see how it was going. So I had this Irwin clamp that actually this guy down here has flex in it um, and so I thought that that might help me get the angle but then of course the handle would need to be this way because the angle is up here anyway the throat wasn't deep enough and all around I couldn't get rid of some gaps whereas the deeper throat with the angle um, guy will just flexes to whatever is there so I just figure out which way my five degrees is going and then set the clamp up like that. And then all the way around, I'm getting a nice tight joint. So that makes me really happy. So I'll change this one out. And I do want to say that these were sent to me to product test. And I like them. Over here at my bench. And I'm showing off what these are. So they just adjust so you don't have to cut calls or blocks when you're um, doing a glue up to match an angle, it just does it for you. You just simply slide off the black pad that was there, and then these slide on. Here's another example of what they look like. Really great, easy accessory, and can just fit down in a drawer until you need them, and then they're super useful. Got a few tips to share on this glue up. One, it was sewn a project that I put on my mobile cart so I can keep rotating around and getting to whatever part I want to work on that's most convenient for me. And then I've obviously got it up on some four by fours, which allows the clamps to get underneath. And then the last bit is stability. I didn't, you know, obviously the weight of the clamps could get pretty heavy. And when you're fumbling with glue ups, you don't want the stress of your project falling over. So just clamping it down to the work surface was um, a great thing that I did in this dry run. And I'll be definitely doing in the final glue up. And yeah, these guys here 
It can go on either face or both faces, so super convenient and having that deep throat to get in there over splayed legs, very nice.